Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Holster Sommelier, where today we've got a great episode for you on running a chest rig for hiking or backpacking defense. We're going to be featuring two chest rigs from Hill People Gear. One of them is a full-size original kit. The other is the slightly smaller runner's kit. And we're going to be demonstrating with our three tools from the ballistics gel testing episode, the SVI Infinity full size 10 millimeter Nighthawk custom Bob Marvell four and a quarter 10 millimeter and Wilson combat SFX nine in nine millimeter. We hope you enjoyed the episode. All right, so we're on a trail down here at the range. We're going to be <clears> testing <throat> out um, a couple chest rigs that we use when we backpack. One of them is the runners and one of them is the original size. This is the runners. And right now what we've got in it is the Wilson combat SFX nine. <laughs> Open it up, kind of show you what's in there. Talk about the little rig we've got it in later. Got that off Amazon. You want to kind of show a pull and release there, yeah. Steven. Just so they can get a sense of how it works. Yep, perfect. Okay, we'll be behind you on the range just to be safe. And we'll be going down our trail. Uh, I'll be drawing and shooting from the rig. Hill people gear, got the runner's rig on. Wilson Combat SFX9 3.25 inch barrel fits in there very nicely. Shooter will engage targets at will. Shooter is ready? Ready. All right, now we're going through the trail with the Nighthawk Custom Bob Marvell, four and a quarter, V8 ports, 10 millimeter. Shooter is ready? Ready. Fire at will. All right, now we're switching over to the original full-size kit. 
no people gear. The runners really, I'd go 4.25 inch 1911 max. This is the SVI Infinity Hana Bear 10 millimeter, full five inches, fits in there nice and comfortable. You try putting this gun in the smaller pack, it's just a little too small. A little too snug. You might run into some problems trying to draw with a full five inch gun in a smaller pack. Shooter is ready? Ready. Fire well. Well, that was a lot of fun, everybody. And what we'd like to do now is just take a few moments and point out a few safety tips. Whenever you're going to be running a chest rig, it's much easier to cover yourself or someone you're with on a trail. Um, that said, again, the holster sommelier recommends that you train, 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 get professional instruction. Our preferred provider is CCW USA. Bill DC does a great job. You can never be too safe um, anytime uh, you're carrying a tool, using a tool, but especially when running chest rigs. The sommelier also highly recommends that you carry your tools in a chest rig when you're hiking or backpacking versus your backpack. The primary reason for that is if there's ever a time when you need to get away or you're just taking your backpack off uh, by the campsite, uh, your tool will be left in it. It's also much harder to access from the backpack. If, certainly if you want to carry a backup tool, that's fine. But a chest rig stays with you at all times and therefore provides you the maximum defense in case you ever need it. I'm just going to show uh, just the draw action here. Uh, so you got no a, shots fired, just the draw action. You got a few, few different options, right? Um, you want to keep this a little bit open on the side. Um, this is what I most prefer. And then you're going to grab that corner, firmly pull down, and the firearm's exposed so you can reach and grab it. Um, you know, people have pointed out, though, that when you're doing that, you're reaching in, your arm is just pulled down this uh, little flap. The barrel's kind of pointed at an angle right down here. Your arm can kind of be in the way. Um, so a slightly safer option. Uh, you can push this away and just basically use one hand. You're not even going to use your left hand at all. You can push that down, then go in and grab. Or you can have these zippers all the way on the top in the middle and use your, uh, your uh, firing hand, your dominant arm, to just pull that zipper down, then reach in and grab it. Once again, you're only using one hand, um, and that second hand or your elbow isn't going to be in the way of that firearm at all. Um, you know how you position the firearm in there is going to change that a little bit uh whether this is pointed fully up or slightly down um so just got to be cognizant of that be really safe make sure that you got your safety on at all times of course and that you're uh, safely drawing your weapon your fingers outside of the trigger guard uh, and this little attachment that we got does protect the trigger and the trigger guard a little bit so even if i'm firmly gripping i'm not gonna slip and my my hand isn't gonna go on the trigger when i'm pulling it out shooters ready ready and clear slightly different still going to pull this down but when i reach for the gun i'm going to put my hand up not being covered shooter is ready ready and clear ready and clear
glad you saw the sommelier has added this MTAC concealed carry uh, Velcro holster to inside the chest rig. Um, we believe that it actually makes it safer. <clears throat> um, as was pointed out, it covers the trigger guard and the trigger while the tool is in the chest rig. It also keeps your tool firm and in the same position because when you're going to want to draw, you're going to want to know it's in the same spot every time. Hill People Gear says that you don't need to have a holster, quote unquote, inside your chest rig, which is true. You could just put your tool in there, but in the holster sommelier's uh, extensive backpacking experience, that tool is going to move around without it. So much prefer to have something that's going to keep your tool exactly where you want it, canted the way you want, so you can be consistent in terms of uh, removing it safely and quickly from your chest rig when necessary. Well, this concludes another episode of the Holster Sommelier. We certainly hope that you found it of value and that you liked it. We certainly appreciate all the subscribers. If you liked it, give a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It helps keep the Sommelier motivated to keep the channel going. Again, the Sommelier uh, voices his own op opinions on the episodes and is not sponsored by uh, any company or individual. So being honest with our reviews of all the tools and equipment that we use. Have a great day. Look forward to the next episode where you'll see the same tools in action with a running man exercise. So rather than shooting at static targets, you're going to be shooting at targets that are moving toward you or parallel to you.